Welcome to week 2 of uh, the course on inverse methods in heat transfer uh, being uh, run on NP10. I am Balaji Srinivasan. Just to give you a brief introduction of the contents that we will be covering in week 2. Um, the primary purpose of this week is to provide an introduction to linear regression as a tool for inverse problems. All of you would already be familiar with linear regression most probably. If you are not then this would serve as a first introduction. Even if you are you would see uh, hopefully a few new things and also how to use it as a tool for solving inverse problems. We will be continuing with uh, linear regression in the next week as well. But this week is just a preliminary uh, simple ideas. So where we will start is to start with a simple inverse problem in a slab which I introduced you to in the last week. And we will cover the basics of linear regression with this as a motivation. Of course, uh, real inverse problems are much more complex than this. But this again shows you some simple ideas about how inverse problems are solved on a, in a really, really simple setting. Okay. Then after that, we will be solving a solved example based on the theory that we would have derived on linear regression. Um, a third idea which might not be quite familiar to you is the idea of once you have a fit. So let us say you have a curve which fits some amount of data. Um, you can actually have, especially when it is linear regression, you have a characterization of how good or bad this curve is. And this quantity is known as the goodness of fit. Also, well, this quantity measures the goodness of fit and it is actually called the coefficient of determination and we will be looking at that. Finally, we will see how to extend the ideas that we have for linear regression in case you do not have a linear curve but you actually have a quadratic curve. And in the next week after this one, we will be continuing this to polynomial regression and other types of problems. So that is it, very simple uh, kind of content uh, for this week. Uh, the basics of linear regression, we actually use an example, we talk about how to determine how good or bad our fit is and finally we will move on to something slightly more complicated which is quadratic regression. See you in week 2. 